African Cup of Nations semi-final is about to kick off tomorrow and today there was a pre-match press conference but that's the focus of this video for today today we're going to talk about the FA president of Cameroon he has paid a courtesy call on the victims of the Olympic disaster that led eight people dead and unfortunate but some also thankfully were just injured and are recuperating Samuel Leto who is the head of Hekafoot has gone to visit them and wish them well we're going to have a look at some of the pictures as he went to pay them a courtesy call we're also going to look at the record set by andrea Yu on monday night he came on as a substitute and in 15 seconds found the back of the net the record in the qatar stars league coming on as a substitute and finding the back of the net ghana's ranking after the african cup of nations has also been reviewed and thomas party is the highest earner at Arsenal now after Pierre Medek Aubameyang secured a move out of the club into FC Barcelona. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So we all know the African Cup of Nations currently ongoing. Tomorrow, the semi-final games will be played. Senegal will take on Burkina Faso, who have been the surprise package for a lot of people, making it all the way uh, to this stage of the competition. They have been great in the African Cup of Nations, but uh, very little, a uh, few people thought that they would make it this far. But the focus is on the incident that happened at the Olympic Stadium that left eight people dead. Others injured now the head of Fekafort Samuel Etofis has gone to visit uh, the families and those who are injured in the hospital and recovering has wished them well and told them uh, that they have his full support unfortunately because of that games at the Olympic Stadium uh, were suspended it has now been released and the Olympic Stadium will host the semi-final game between Cameroon and Egypt. Uh, CAF decided to close it down and needed a report on it. They have gotten the subsequent report and now the Olympic Stadium will be used for that game between uh, Cameroon and Egypt. The Ahmad Wahidu Stadium will host the other semi-final game uh, between Senegal and Burkina Faso. It will be quite an interesting fixture to look forward to. Tomorrow it kicks off the 2nd of February uh, 2021 in that uh, game in Cameroon. Also, the Ghana Black Stars ranking in the African Cup of Nations after finishing out or missing out on qualification to the knockout phase and eliminating elimination in the group stages, the Black Stars have been ranked the 19th best team in the competition. They have been ranked uh, behind the likes of Sierra Leone, the likes of Comoros in this African Cup of Nations. Quite an abysmal performance by the Black Stars and rightly so. I think that ranking is kind of spot on in that respect. The Black Stars ranked 19th. Uh, Comoros, Cape Verde, Zimbabwe and Sierra Leone have all been ranked ahead of the four-time African champions. The Black Stars exited uh, the African Cup of Nations from the group stages, marking the four-time uh, the Ghana failed to progress from their group in the history of the AFCON, a 24-year history of the Black Stars at the AFCON. Ghana didn't just exit the group phase of the competition, but they also couldn't win a single game in the group that had Comoros, Morocco and Gabon who have subsequently all been eliminated. And the Black Stars of Ghana and the Desert Foxes of Algeria were ranked 19th and 21st respectively because the two powerhouses exited the competition with just a single point. The fourth semi-finals Cameroon, Egypt and Burkina Faso would know their position on the ranking table after the finals on Sunday. February 6th and that's what they'll be playing for this weekend unfortunately for the Ghana Black Stars quite an abysmal ranking but it is in line with how things fared at the African Cup of Nations 2021. We're going to look at the record set by Ghana Black Stars captain Andrea Yu. Yes he came on as a substitute for Baghdad Bobnesha of Alsat back to continue from where he left off for the African Cup of Nations, scoring 15 seconds, a record in the Qatar Stars League. 15 seconds after coming on, he found the back of the net for his side in their 6-0 win yesterday in the league game. Andre Ayu continuing his goal scoring form, 10 goals in 13 games in the Qatar Stars League this season and he is enjoying life in 
in Qatar, enjoying great times with Al Saad in Qatar, and uh, hopefully he can translate that form into the Ghana Black Stars. Well, unfortunately, he cannot play in that game, unless, of course, a red card is set to be appealed, uh, which I don't know. I've not had any updates on that front on. But the Ghana Black Stars captain uh, could be ineligible to play in that game versus Nigeria. Until anything changes in that respect, I do not know uh, whether he will be able to play or not. But for now, until something else changes he is not eligible to play in that game but great feat there for him a record in the qatar stars league thomas party and now to my next story is the highest paid player in arsenal right now yes you heard me right thomas party is the highest paid player for the gunners after pierre medical bami yang secured a deadline move to FC Barcelona. We all know what happened between Arsenal and Aubameyang. Violations, according to the coach Arteta, led to him being eliminated from the team, not playing some games. After Captain Samban stripped from him, and now he is out of the club. Arsenal have sold him for free, have cut down the wages that he was having on them, and now he has joined FC Barcelona. Well, he has joined FC Barcelona, who have already, who had already made three more signings. And now that the window is closed, they can register three players and not all the four that they have signed. Quite a fix there for FC Barcelona. But who will they leave out out of these four that they have signed? It will be quite interesting to see how things turn out and if they are able to register all four players for the knockout phases of the Europa League that is they'll be taking part in. Unfortunate situation there for FC Barcelona but that is where they find themselves right now and it will be quite interesting to see how they get themselves out of this fix. It will be very very interesting. So that has been it for today. Thomas Pat, the highest earn at Arsenal right now that Pierre Medico Bamiyang has moved out of the club. He could be named captain of the Gunners, but you never know. Anything is possible. Nothing on that front yet. Uh, Andrea, you set the record. Coming on as a substitute for his club side outside, scoring in 15 seconds after coming on. Ghana Black Stars rankings at the African Cup of Nations. 19th is the position we are in. And uh, Samuel Letofis has gone to pay a curtsy call on the injured people, on the injured fans and supporters after the Olympic disaster. They are recovering nicely and Eto has paid message, has paid them a visit to encourage them and to wish them a speedy recovery. Your thoughts in the comments box on everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.